Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up, boy? This is your boy MB. This video was very much needed and highly recommended. I don't think nobody did this on YouTube, so make sure that y'all understand this. When you're talking to any custom silver box builder, these premises, principles can be used. How to measure your car's trunk to figure out the best box you can put in there, what silver size you should use, what silver size sizes you can use to get a uh, minimum, average or optimized enclosure let's begin first off so the wheel wheels on both vehicles are going to be the narrowest point of the vehicle and the wheel wheels show them the wheel wheels baby are one end to the other step back just step back and stay right so they can see it boom stay right you got the old trunk these are the wheel wheels left and right it's going to be the narrowest part of your trunk, okay? Driver's side to the passenger side. There are no trunks where the width is the same from the front to the back. It's not. You're always gonna have some kind of protrusions along the wheel wheel. You want to measure from driver's side to passenger side and write that dimension down, okay? Then, at the narrowest point that you can have, now you need to measure how far back you can go. Now, if you're building a box yourself, you can make an error with this because you're gonna be able to build a box and put it in out the vehicle and see how far you can go. When you're giving it to a custom box builder, the reason why he needs to know this maximum uh, length or depth is in positioning his port. However wide his port is, he needs to know how much space he will have for that port to load off of. So that's why you give the maximum dimension. It doesn't mean I'm going to use it, but I need to know to know if I need to place my port on the same baffle as the subs, or do I need to place the subs forward and, and let my port fire off to the sides so that I have enough room to load correctly and to breathe. Next and lastly is the dimension from any obstruction Make sure you come down. You come down. Okay, cool. From how high can it go? Now, there's two heights here. There's a height here, and there's a height here. As you can see, the height here would be greater than the height there. Well, which one do I give? It all depends on what you're trying to gain and what sub size you're trying to use. To give you an example, if I was the customer who had this vehicle, and I measured here, I say, hey man, the max height I want you to use, the max height that I want you to use is 12 inches. That means that negates me being able to use a 12 inch sub. I can only use a 10 inch sub, a eight inch sub, and a six and a half because of this max height. But let's say I'm a same customer and I, I find out that hey, if I go here, I can go 18 inches high. Come back six inches, I can go 18 inches high. At 18 inches high, even though I might not use it, can I do a 15 on a 12? Yes, but check this out. When you went backwards to gain more height, your depth need to change. Your depth now is no longer from the back of the seat to the back of the vehicle because you measured your height here instead of here at the narrowest point. So you're going to have to calculate, well, if he goes this height to get 18, the measurement that I gave him first needs to subtract X amount of inches. If there is no obstructions and you know, like, so I'm just running with 8s to 12s, then do I need to give him this height dimension? Not really. You can give him the, 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 tall, the minimum tallest that he's going to have straight back. You must envision that if he builds a box from left to right, and back this far, he can go this height. 
in that space, I'm able to tell you exactly what subsize you can use. You're going to have to buy a tape measure. Now, before you go any further, let me show them this. This is a tape measure. I know you're laughing at this, man. Come on, everybody knows that. You'll be surprised the calls that I get that people do not know what this is and how to use it. Now, on the outside, it's going to tell you how, many, how, how much you can measure. Some say 16, some say 9, 12. I think the smallest I've seen is 3. 3 feet, which means on the tape. On the tape, let me go this way. On the tape measure, there are going to be numbers. Okay? This is the starting point. This is the ending point. It doesn't exclude the tape measure. So this tape measure is reading 15 inches. From this point to this point. All I need you to read is the number that you see. You don't have to read the in-between numbers. Hash mark type. You don't know how to read the tape measure. That's cool. Give me the last whole number that you see. Whether it's from left to right, front to back, or up and down. The max dimensions that you have available. It doesn't mean I'm going to use all of them. But I must know in order to tell you the proper, the proper way of aligning the subs and what sub size you can use. These things range in price. You can go to Walmart, probably you want for $3.97. You can go to Home Depot. You can go to Lowe's. This is a tape measure. The numbers on here are inches. Don't worry about this number right here, where they say 1F, 2F, 3F. Because some of you don't understand that. I understand. No problem. It means you was probably born in the 1990s. Or 2000. I'm just making fun of you. you but don't worry down. about... Huh? Upside, upside says, down? Yeah. Now, they ain't making fun of me. Now. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> don't worry about this number here. Just give me the whole number that you see as your measurement. And let me close this video because my wife just got scared by holding it. So this Hey, at the end of the day, man, this is your boy MB. Please listen responsibly. Get, in if you, get at me if you need a box. It's 404-694-4818. Peace.